we're going to learn how to make a dynamic player card in Google Sheets. And by dynamic, I mean we'll be able to select the athlete that we want to see and a player card for them will pop up. And this player card could have anything on it. In this case, what we have is we have athletes, we have their positions, we have an image for them, their jersey numbers, and their team. And we'll display all of that information on the player card. Now you'll notice that Athlete 9 has no information. So let's enter in the information now. Want to be a wide receiver, or WR for short if you're playing American football. And now images. So how do I get an image into this cell for the athlete? Well, we can go to Insert, Image, Image in Cell. And there are a bunch of different ways to get an image in. You can use your Google Drive. You can search for images on Google. You can get it from your photos. You can take a live photo with the camera. You can upload one from your computer or your PC or laptop. Or you can get one from a URL online. Let's go through the two primary options, which are likely uploading a photo and by a URL. So I'm going to ESPN.com. And I have the athlete that I want the picture for. I see this image. I say, that's a nice image. I want that. The way that we get the URL is we can right click, at least on a PC, and open the image in a new tab. Now, if we click on that tab, we'll just see the image. And this is the image URL right here. I'll right click and copy that. The other way that you can get the image URL is simply by right clicking on the image and saying copy image address. But I want you to, that you don't see the image URL when you do that. I want you to actually see what it looks like here. And now if we go back into our Google Sheets, we can go by URL and paste the URL into Google Sheets and it'll show us the image that will be placed in that cell. All we have to do is say insert. Now, when you use URLs, there are pros and cons to that. When you use URLs, you are subject to wherever you got that URL from for changes to that image. So if ESPN.com decide to change this image or remove the page entirely or recreate the URL um, and make it a different URL, then our images would break. So the way that I like to do it is I want to insert image image in cell by uploading an image from my computer and we just browse our desktop or wherever uh, on your computer and I'm going to select the image that I want and it'll just be entered into the cell now let's enter their jersey number and the team that they play for and we can start creating our interactive player card so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to highlight, I don't know, maybe maybe two is, is enough and merge those cells together. And I'm going to create a drop down list of athletes. That's the first thing that I'm going to do because I don't want to type in my athlete's name every time I want to select it. The way that we create a drop down list is we go to data, data validation, list from a range, that is correct. And then we select the list that we want to pick from. So I'm going to click on this guy here. And now we're told to enter in the data range. We can type it in. For example, we want A2 to A10 to A10. We could do it that way. Or we could select the cells that we want. And it'll populate that for us. And what I like to do is just in case we add more players, I like to select more cells than we need. So if we add another player, they will be added to that drop down list. And click OK and save. And now in this merge cell here, we have a drop down list of our athletes. So let's just select athlete one for now. Now, the only formulas that you need to know to get this player card are index and match. I have other videos that discuss those formulas in detail and how they work. If you're interested, you could check those out. But if not, we'll go over them briefly here as well. So to get the image into this cell, we need to get it from here. And we want to do it dynamically and automatically. 
And the way that we do that is, is we can go equals index, open parenthesis, and essentially what we're selecting here is what goes in this cell. That's what the reference is. It can be multiple references, uh, or it could be multiple columns, but you'll have to specify the column that, you're, that you want to get the information from. It can also be multiple rows, and you have to specify the row that you want the information from. In our case, to make it very simple, we could select one column. Let's just say that, that we want the images. We want an image in this cell, comma. And now Google Sheets says, what row do you want to get it from? For now, I'm just going to type in row 2. And since we only have one column, the column part of this argument doesn't really matter. But we could just say column 1, because we only have one column. I'm going to close the parentheses and click Enter. Now, this is getting the image from row 2 which is that picture and it happens to be athlete one if we change the name to athlete two this will not change so we want this to change with the athlete that we pick the way that we do that is we use a function called match so instead of just typing in a row we match the row to the athlete that we select and it will get the right image for us based on that row so we know what we want. We want an image, and we want to match, open parenthesis, a search key, which is what we're looking for in our subsequent range that we'll go through in a second. So we want to look for whatever is in this box, which right now is athlete one. And we want to find what's in this box from this range here. And that'll dictate the row that we get the thing from that is in this column. And right now that's an image. So let's do comma. And now we'll type in a zero, which is the search type. And if that just means it has to be an exact match, this name has to exactly match the name in here. And we'll go zero and close that off and click enter. Now we're getting the image for athlete one because athlete one is row two and in our index formula it's saying well we're going to get something from this column and it's in row two because athlete that's when athlete one matches what's in here now if we pick athlete five now index match is saying okay well now we're looking for what's matched in here again and it happens to be here row six so we'll take that image now we have an image and all we have to do is use this formula over and over again for each of these different components. So I'm going to maybe do that, highlight all those cells, and merge this together. Maybe we'll make this font a little bit bigger. It'll be 14, and we'll make it bold. And sure, let's give it a little, little background here and a white color, I guess. And... That's merged too, but maybe we want to merge these two cells and display the team here. And all we have to do is apply index match again. And what I'm going to do now is put dollar signs around everything to lock them in so that when I copy and paste this formula, nothing moves. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I get confused when I copy and paste formulas around because if the references change, so let's copy this and we'll paste it in that cell here but now instead of the image we want the team all we have to do is change from looking into column c to look in this column that the team is in which is column e so let's change the c's to e's and we still want to match the row to the athlete that we pick and we'll click enter now we have their team and maybe we copy this and paste it right here. Let's unmerge that. And now let's get their position. So instead of column E, we can change this to column B. And click Enter. And then we can copy this and paste it here. And now maybe we want their jersey number or vice versa. Maybe this is the jersey number. So jersey number is in column D. So let's change the B's to D's and click Enter. And if we wanted a number sign to be in front of this, before the index, we could do a quote, number, quote, and then ampersand, which is just com 
which is combining two things together, what we're doing is say we want the text to be a number sign and then do a formula after it. And if we click enter, now we have a player card. And maybe we make this italic, or however we want to do it. Maybe we make the fonts a little bit bigger, um, make them 12. And if we select an athlete, oops, selected the same one, everything will change to be about that athlete. And you might have other data here too that you want to display in the player card. And if you were to go to view and remove the grid lines, it might look a little bit better. And if you maybe put a box around it or something, it might also keep it contained to a certain extent. And now we have a working player card. And we could have whatever information we wanted in here. If we had a team logo, we could display that too. And we could also make that dynamic. And anything else. It could have to do with their training load or their, their height, their weight, body composition, or whatever other data that you have on an athlete or a client. So I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a lot, and it'll also help out the YouTube algorithms to show this to more people that would benefit from the content, and that way we can help more people together. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.